Montgomery Farm was purchased by my grandfather and grandmother, Philip and Francis Montgomery, in the early 1940s. I have five siblings. We all grew up um, enjoying the property as a recreation place. In the late 1970s, the development really started to come up around us and we began to think about what to do with this property. We decided what should happen was to set up a land trust. It was named the Connemara Conservancy. And for 22 years, we did outdoor sculpture shows and music events. I think that any landowner that's had a relationship with a piece of land for almost 50 years as I have, feels like they have a responsibility as to what happens to that land. And we knew this land was going to develop and we had a responsibility to make sure it was done correctly. A responsibility to carry forward, looking to future generations so that we can make this Montgomery Farm a special place. Our design team is very unusual in that it's not a big firm. It's individuals who have proven themselves within their fields. We reached out and grabbed people from all over the country and put them together to think and plan. First of all, the client is as committed as any client I've ever worked with. Uh, they've been doing this project for generations. The consequence of that is going to rub off on everything. Well, what's very special about the approach to this development is we're looking at the land very carefully and walking the site before we make any design decisions and we're beginning by designing the open space system first. We're really doing something which is sort of backwards in the way things normally are done. The farm is located in a developed area and it is undeveloped and it has been conserved for generations and makes it a unique property. In the past, most of us knew someone in our family that had a farm. And, you know, if you didn't live on a farm yourself, you maybe went there in the summer or spent time with your grandparents or your aunt and uncles. Um, it was always that chance to get that open space experience. As we get more and more urban, most people don't know anybody uh, that they can visit like that. We're coming to a time when I think people are beginning to sense the loss of a lot of places that have seemed common, now they're becoming uncommon. And there's a lot that is extraordinary in this common ground. And I think a project that has at its, its ethical basis, the saving of those things and the celebrating of those things, it's rare. The appeal is a community that's based on a lifestyle of health and sustainability. And the decisions we make support that idea. My mission as I understand it is to bring a sense of artistic conscience to the project. The family believes very much uh, in the role of art and environment and they have a personal attachment to the land as well as a respect for the land. They want that to be maintained. One aspect of my efforts to date is the design of a series of cisterns that uh, collect surface runoff from the ground and storing it underground and then through a 100 foot tall wind turbine bringing the water up and over the top of a cistern in a sculptural fashion and then furthering it on to, to feed an existing creek as well as be used for irrigation of the tree farm and the vineyard. One of the things that's really nice about this project is the family's really serious about the conservation. With the Connemara Conservancy, they've already been doing conservation work here. Uh, there's over 70 acres set aside on the other side of the creek in Connemara. And this project will set aside more than 100 acres on this side of the creek, which means we can let that creek be natural. 
The public open space is beneficial not only to the residents of Montgomery Farm, but to the residents of the Metroplex because it is adjacent to the Connemara Conservancy. One of the unique things in Collin County is they're gonna have a trail system the whole length of the, the Rowlett Creek. And uh, this was part of the open space plan that Amy and her mother worked on many years ago, and it's coming to fruition. The public open space within Montgomery Farm will be part of an emerald necklace that stretches from Plano through Richardson, Allen, and on up into McKinney. There's a regional trail system of 32 miles that will go through the property. So it just ties together beautifully with properties outside of this. There are several things about this project that will affect the economics and have been proven elsewhere. Number one, that housing next to open space only increases in value. It's just most of the time people don't have the time with their borrowed money to let that happen. The economic viability of a project like Montgomery Farm involves the long-term value of the real estate. What's very interesting is, is uh, Philip will tell you certainly that it makes no sense whatsoever in financial terms to, to do the things that I have been proposing. And that's just the reason that it makes sense to do it. Because building things that resonate of a certain kind of attitude brings that philosophy to the farm uh, in an unusual way that makes it memorable. If you look around in our society and in North America and Western Europe, you find those places that have become special places have become so over many generations. What I learned about what Philip and Amy were doing, what the whole team was doing, to really reach that much further, uh, you know, we talk about pride of place where, oh, I mean, I'm proud to be American, but I want America to look like America. I want Texas to look like Texas. I want Collin County to look like Collin County. And this is something that I think will help it do that. To me, it's a chance to show what can be done, that we can coexist. You can take a piece of property and develop it and yet not destroy it. Um, I think it's going to set a terrific example for the whole North Texas area. This is really the cutting edge. When one designs primarily with nature, but with people in mind, and does not let the motor car become the uh, principle to design determinant, one creates places that are so special that they attract people, uh, they attract investment, people want to stay there, and you'll probably find that there's uh, very little turnover in the homes here. Once people get here, they're going to stay put because there are not many other places in the entire Metroplex that come, will come close to it. For me, for my partners, for our investors, for this team of really talented individuals, this work at Montgomery Farm is a privilege.